Hello, welcome back. So uh, this is where we left in the previous tutorial on DC analysis. And now we are ready to perform the DC sweep analysis. So to do that, uh, what we will have to do is to sweep this source. And suppose we wanted to sweep this source from 0 to 5 volt and wanted to monitor how this voltage varies as we are sweeping this input source. Uh, to do that, if you just double click on this one, it says sweep here. And remember last time we chose single point and here now we are going to choose linear. And we wanted to sweep it from 0 to 5 volt. So 0 to 5. And suppose in a step of 1, you can choose different step size. But since it's a linear simulation, so it doesn't matter that much. And then it is asking, okay, what parameter do you want to sweep? So I will explain that in a moment. So we, we, we do want to sweep this VDC. Uh, but what you can do here is that you can define a variable or var block. We use this var block to define a variable. Left click and escape. So you can just left click on this one and move uh, these elements as I explained earlier. Now let's define a variable and we will call it Vs. The value of this variable at this time will not matter because we wanted to assign this variable Vs here and our plan is to sweep this Vs from 0 to 5 volt. So this value doesn't matter. If you were doing single point analysis then this value will matter because you know in single point analysis you are doing performing simulation at one point so if you are if you wanted to simulate this for vdc of 5 volts you will keep it 5 volt but here it doesn't matter because we are going to sweep this vs variable anyways so our goal so this is what has happened if you if you noticed i define a variable vs and i says that my vdc is equal to vs volt so what is vs at this moment it's 1 so it is 1 volt then I will come here and I will type in Vs. So the parameter it is going to sweep this simulator is Vs and therefore it is VDC. So we are going to sweep Vs from 0 to 5 volt in steps of 1 and press OK. So that, that, that's it. Um, we have the, oh, I'm sorry, I changed the, I should have done file save as because I didn't want it to change the previous um, schematic. But anyways, we'll take care of that later. Just do uh, first thing that you should have done when you start like, you know, changing your, your circuit is you should do voltage. Uh, I mean, save it as a different schematic so that you don't change the original one. Um, original one, I'm sorry about that. So just press OK. So now this is voltage divider underscore two. So this is a different schematic. Your Previous schematic is already here in the main window. If you go here in the previous schematic, it is already here. And then you opened this new schematic, which is here. Remember, um, you have this schematic, and this is the data display that we created earlier, okay, for the first tutorial. Now, in this schematic, we have the everything pretty much set up. We have the voltage source, resistors, and this resistor. And we wanted to sweep this source. So that is also set up using that var block and this uh, simulation controller sweep uh, feature. And then perhaps hit here and press save. And then let me hit run simulation button and see what happens. So this is where we have this data display corresponding to this new schematic. Now here, because we are expecting, we are sweeping something, so we will have basically a graph. So to graph something, you just take this rectangular plot and make sure that you have this. There are so many different things here. In, in the future, it, it will be useful. So make sure that at this time, this is, by default, it will be chosen, but you know sometimes it will not. So make sure that you are you are choosing the um, a schematic uh, corresponding to uh, what you are, the, the schematic that you are doing. So then I will 
So here, what we what do we want to plot? We want to plot output voltage, and I'm doing add versus because I wanted to plot output versus input. So click on this in and press OK. So now it says plot versus output and input and press OK. So lo and behold, we have the linear sweep. And that's exactly what we expected because when input voltage is 5 volt, the output voltage should be 2.5 volt because we have not changed the resistor. All right, then a couple of things about this, this data display window. First of all, remember that there are two kind of cliffs, clicks here. First of all, you can click on this some area here in the rectangular plot. And then there are some different options that you can choose, for example, x-axis you can uh, uncheck this auto scale and define your own step size for example if i want it in a step of one so i can just type in one here and then i can also label input differently and i can say this is input voltage and in a similar manner i can go here first of all i don't want ads logo so hide ADS logo and then I can click on Y axis and I can type in output voltage and you can also type in the units if you want for example V so this is in units of V and let it be auto scaled in units of V and just to make sure that this is a small O, a small O and press OK. So lo and behold you have ADS logo is gone and you have the input voltage on the horizontal scale and the output voltage on the vertical and the units are also mentioned. So that was that. There are many other things like plot title and plot option. I will encourage you to explore some of these things on your own. Then you can also directly click on this plot and then there are different options. For example, you wanted dotted line or solid line such as now this one and I can change this. Um, the thickness of the um, line to two points and then I can also change the color if I wanted to. So my son's favorite color is blue so let me change it to blue. It had, it had changed to black, okay. But it won't look that you know good on this uh, window. So let it be red then. That's what you would like maybe. And press OK. So this is how it looks like. So click Save. And then there's one more thing that I wanted to highlight is you can insert a marker here, for example. And if you if zoom all it will give you the x and y coordinates of all these points as you rotate maybe because we have just five points so that's what it is showing us then close this one and that's all for this tutorial and in the next next tutorial we will be doing parametric sweep so see you in a bit again.